In the following video, we show you the basic steps of how to assemble a Gazer revolving door, using Revo Prime as an example. In this case, the door is installed in our test field, and therefore has no real floor or facade, as you would encounter on site. Please always follow the installation instructions that match your model. Also, these steps may vary depending on the configuration of your door. Place the floor ring halves on the building site and roughly align them. Now screw the floor ring halves together. The flooring must be aligned precisely and levelled using the meter plan. Weld the mounting brackets to the flooring and then screw them to the floor. Drill the screw holes for the side panels and cut the threads. Please note, the lifting tools must be placed in the later passage area. Otherwise, the side panels cannot be attached. Screw the two halves of the ceiling and put them onto the lifting tool. Then, mount the additional stiffeners. Prepare the motor by attaching the mounting brackets, then mount the unit on the ceiling. Now mount the control unit. After that, the ceiling can be lifted. Place the side panels on the flooring and secure them with tension straps. Now the cables of the sensors can be routed from the side part upwards through the ceiling. First, mount the bottom bearing ring. This ring must be greased well. Install the slip ring from below through the motor axle. Prepare the wiring of the door leaves by installing the cables into the centre rod. After inserting the upper turnstile, install the centre rod.
You can align the central axis by using the adjustment facility on the motor console. This is followed by the wiring and mounting of the safety edges on the rotating leaves. Check the function before installing the door leaves on the turnstile. Depending on the door equipment, the following sensors can be used. You can see here the FlatScan LZ for revolving doors. Alternatively, the GC338 sensor strip can be used. Also on the revolving door leaf, the DCU604. followed by mounting the position sensor and the magnet. Now mount the rim trim and adjust it to fit the perimeter. For the floor mats, make sure to insert the side elements first. Connect the installed sensors to the door control unit.
and the inspection plate, also called the maintenance flap. Seal them with silicone after mounting the upper sealing sheets. The following scenes show examples of how to check the safety functions with standardised test specimens. The dynamic forces that occur are measured.